A federal judge sentenced Aaron Michael Shamo to life in prison on October 15th. The counterfeit pill Kingpin was found guilty of running a fake Xanax and fentanyl pill operation with as many as 20 co-conspirators in 2019. Six defendants in the case pled guilty and are awaiting sentencing. Shamo, who called himself a white-collar drug dealer, sold the pills under the name Pharma Master on Alpha Bay, a dark web marketplace that was shut down in 2017. He made millions and continued to sell drugs even after he knew his products were harming people. All that ended in November 2016 when the DEA raided Shamo's home in Cottonwood Heights, Utah. Agents seized a pill press, 95,000 pills, and 1.2 million stuffed in a sock drawer. Shamo, whose mother told a local TV station that he was a good kid who deserves a chance at life, had also stashed $429,000 in cash at his parents' house. The bereaved families of Gavin Keblish and Devin Meldrum have spoken to the press. Their sons thought they were buying genuine medicine to treat pain. In addition, Shama was charged but not convicted for the fentanyl poisoning death of a 21-year-old California man. In 2016, the scale and impact of Pharma Master's distribution was shocking. Since then, counterfeit pills have been found in all 50 states and have killed people in at least 42 states. Pill press operations on a similar scale have been so common that PSM collaborated on a report about poor regulation of pill presses in 2019. And Mexican cartels routinely smuggle hundreds of thousands of pressed pills over our southern border. The cartels are also selling fake medicine in Mexico, where pharmacists have raised the alarm because the cartels forced them to purchase and sell counterfeit drugs in their pharmacies. PSM tracks this and other dangerous trends in fake medicines on our website, www.safemedicines.org. To get next week's counterfeit news, click subscribe below.